on the way to Dolly Sods. Oh, Arthur yeah. Johnson over here. We got all the packs here. We're ready to go now. Oh, so update, we're in West Virginia. We go to Walmart to get a fishing license and guess what Walmart doesn't have? No license. Freaking fishing license. Come all the way this way, there's no damn fishing license. Now yeah, we gotta, got the macaroni salad. Macaroni though. salad though, yeah. You gotta get the goods. But you know, now we gotta stop, what, two more times to get food and yep. get a fishing license. Oh, we just got to the trailhead. We're trying to whoop down some food real quick before we go on the trail. Before it gets dark out, we gotta find us a got camp and sausage. stuff. Sausage. We got all bird. the goods. What do you think? It's gonna get dark and yeah, we got time to hike. We got out. a little bit of time. We gotta go a mile today to get to camp. Hour. But I'm not carrying this with me, so we just got on the trail here. It's what do you think? It's 20 minutes till sunset. Yeah. We would have got out here earlier, but. There was some conservation guy at the trailhead, and I guess you need to register to to hike this trail now. So if you're planning on hiking this trail in the future, make sure you register. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I mean, I guess. What do you think, Arthur? It's good that people are out here. I mean, for conservation purposes, just to keep, keep track of everyone. But yeah, pretty much it. We're just gonna try to hurry up and get to camp real quick. So. Oh, we finally got the camp set up. Night one, Dolly Sauce. Arthur's rocking the hammock set. Hopefully she don't rain on us tonight. Hopefully not. We got the tent over here. Here we are, night one. Getting pretty tired. Drank a decent amount of Knob Creek, courtesies of Arthur Johnson over there. But uh, I tried to make a video, like a time lapse of the stars. It's like a full moon, and I mean, I'm just so new to photography that I couldn't figure out the settings. But uh, I'm getting there eventually. <laughs> Spitting some liquor on the fire over there. But uh, it's perfect weather. It's what? What do you think? Like 70 degrees out? Oh, it's beautiful. There's there's maybe 10 other hikers on the trail. There's people hiking in now pretty late. I couldn't even imagine setting up camp that late, but. Got the tent figured out, and uh, yeah, I think I'm closing out for the night. See ya, see you in the morning. Got a little muddy, just a little bit now. Maybe I should have got some gators. Maybe I shouldn't have, but uh, I don't know. All I'm saying is the trail goes on. So it turns out that wrong turn we made. Remember how I told you there was a guy when we first got here about conservation telling us what trails not to go down and stuff? Well, it turns out our little side detour was the only trail that the guy told us not to go down. So we went through what a beaver dammed up, which is, what do you think, knee high? I, I, got, I got up to my knees 
Look. Yeah, in in uh, some mud. But we're back on the right trail now. We're backtracking back on what was this one called? The Raven Ridge Trail. And this is what Bear Rocks was supposed to bring us to anyway. You're, so if you're hiking Bear Rocks, when you get to the river like a mile in, keep going straight and that'll take you to the Raven Ridge. Don't go left. That takes you to the Dobbins Creek Trail and you don't want to go on that one. I'm gonna hike this mountainous rock. I'm trying to find the best way to get up this thing. Probably like right here. Oh yeah. Who's that down there? Thinks he's a professional rock climber. Don't try this at home, kids. What you should do at home. <laughs> you need a hand. He made it now. Yeah, we did, boy. Oh, Dolly Sod's update. Getting some lunch here. Some uh, good old peanut butter and uh, tortilla. But uh, we got the view here. Makes a good lunch. Oh, update checking in we just got some water it's been like how long since we had water I thought we were gonna run out of water but we're good now we probably did like nine or ten miles a day got to head find the campsite and settle down for the night and tomorrow is lion's head So we just finished up the end of the first day of actually hiking, second night. But uh, yeah, pretty good views. I mean, the the early part. I mean, what do you think? The early part had the best views, like up on the Rocky Ridge. The the Rocky Ridge Trail is definitely the best one we saw today. Great views. I mean, it almost looked like something out of Lord of the Rings, like we were joking around about. But yeah, basically we took that wrong turn this morning. We got like knee high and mud but i mean we got back on track we did i think 11 miles a day so we found a good camping spot right by the creek we were running low on water so if you're doing this trail definitely conserve your water as you're doing the same loop that i'm doing because uh we were definitely hurting on water and had to conserve it a little bit so definitely 
bring extra water. I brought two liters and I was conserving it, so I would maybe bring three or four liters. Um, if you drink a lot, at least I like to drink a lot of water. But yeah, I made some good chicken alfredo. I mean, I didn't even eat all the food I packed for tonight, so I thought I'd be a lot hungrier, but we're pretty set. Um, but yeah, pretty much just chilling out the night, you know. We still got a ton of time left. And then we're planning on tomorrow, you know, waking up a little early and going out to Lion's Head. Maybe catching a sunrise there. Maybe we'll get it on the camera, maybe not. We'll see what happens. But uh, we're looking to do about 10 miles tomorrow, and that'll set us up for a, about a six-mile hike on the way out on Monday. And, uh, trying to read a book and shit. <laughs> How long did that last? Where's the whiskey? <laughs> the shit I say surprised me. Hey, yeah. Look, she wanna hang when that album drop this time me. Hey, got a present for my albums with a smiley. I know a man got a move from beside me, I swear. She got ice at all bang. She gon' change word about the wrong thing. If the fuck with Russ, it gets her shit. So, after night two, got a decent start. We're hiking out to the waterfall to get breakfast, so. Got like two miles to the waterfall. Stop, take breakfast, maybe go swimming if it's any good. But, yeah, that's the update, just trekking along. So we're up here at the lion's den, or the lion's head. It's right over there by where all the people are, but we're right next to it, just getting the view here. We ended up taking the wrong path down, so we're up, so it's pretty treacherous. But uh, look at this view, I mean. Dolly sods. Dolly Sod's day, half day two, technically three. We just passed uh, the good camping spot. Took some lunch there, more tortillas and peanut butter. But uh, what do you think? We're putting in, we already got eight miles down today. We're probably gonna do at least 12 and see where we're at. But uh, nothing too too bad. Mountain, that mountain view was probably the best view we had, the uh, lion's head. Overall, this trail here, what is this What is this trail called, Doppenbacher? Yeah. It's like Doppenbacher or something like that. I'll put it in the description, but uh, 
No one goes on this trail. We haven't seen a single person. Everyone cuts the loop short and takes the Rocky Ridge Trail or Rocky Point Trail in the loop. But this trail is, is really nice. Like, I would definitely recommend going the extra miles and doing this loop. Good river crossing. Oh, we just found a spot to camp after day two. We did 15 miles and they were pretty tired, but uh, check this out. We found a good spot to uh, <laughs> relax in the water. Guess we're getting baptized over here. Woo! But uh, yeah, I mean shit. Well, I'm about to go jump in now, so... Last night, pretty good campsite. Slept pretty shitty though, cause some hikers woke us up at 4.30 cause they were lost, but uh, pretty good now. Ready to go. Say goodbye to the old campsite. Last day, so we got about eight miles and uh, that's it. We should be back at the car. So we're gonna try to cover some ground and get back at a decent time that way. We can drive and it's not dark. So not gonna be filming too much today, but we'll see. through the mud trying to watch the Dobbins Creek Trail. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> he backtracked all the way back now. <laughs> Almost back to where he started. So we're literally hiking up here and Arthur's like, yo, you wanna you wanna take lunch up on the trail and watch this guy struggle? <laughs> exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Turned around. That's the trail we were on on the first day where he, we were like knee deep in mud. You know, so we're enjoying ourselves. The sods, dude. Hell yeah. Who stole our car? Oh, there it is. Just finished. 